guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to a video about just pretty much how to make your game feel fresh again. This is gonna hopefully make you just feel like the game is more new again, make you look forward to opening up your game and playing with your save and just give you that feeling back like when The Sims 4 first came out because The Sims 4 has been out for so long now and I feel like a lot of us are just feeling kind of meh. Even if we still enjoy The Sims 4, you know, it's just like that feeling is gone, especially when a pack hasn't come out for a little bit or like, you know, the pack that recently came out was a stuff pack. You know, we haven't had like a big pack in a little bit. And I feel like a lot of us right now are just dying for something that really, you know, makes a big change with the game. So I feel like this will just help us in the meantime. And recently I did a video on ways to make the Sims 4 more fun. And this is a little bit different. I feel like this is just something, it just makes you look forward to opening up your game, kind of re-inspires you to play, at least for me anyways. So this may work for you guys or it may not. And you're gonna be able to do this on PC or console and you don't need any mods so anyone can do this which is super nice but before we get into it we're gonna do our notification shout out so this one goes to taylor thank you so much for your comment you made my whole entire day honestly like i appreciate you like you made my whole week to be honest <laughs> you're so nice thank you so much and if you guys want a chance to be a notification shout out all you gotta do is comment down below so right now we're actually looking at a little save file i guess that i made on my laptop i did transfer it over to my desktop for this video but this is like my off camera save file so i'm just gonna show you guys i'm just gonna click save as so here it is here it just says save file this is the main sim that i started with which i do play with over here it we i don't have the same cc over here so just ignore that <laughs> but yes so i just called it save file didn't name it anything specific since it's just my little personal save file and pretty much what i have done is some of you guys may have done this but just in case you haven't i just wanted to share it with you guys because it's helped me so much want to just play my game uh, off camera more which is really really important so as you guys can see all these lots are changed I'm sure you guys are, of course, familiar with like filling up new crust, changing out lots to just make it more fun, but take it to that next level. So be creative with the lots you place. So basically you can go into the gallery and place down anything. So when you're filling up new crust, you know, think of just places that you're going to want your Sims to go. You know, like think of like, oh, like I can put a dog park. I feel like I always forget about those type of things. So like placing a dog park down so you have like this fun, new, fresh dog park instead of just the one you're used to with the cats and dogs pack. You know, you have this different type of dog. You have this different type of dog park that you can bring your dogs to. Place down different type of restaurants. Like this is a sushi restaurant. You know, it's like a little bit of a different just atmosphere. And then we have this Hell's Kitchen, you know, search up places that even exist in real life, like search up McDonald's, Starbucks, Taco Bell, search up those places, Red Lobster, all of these different places, just restaurants that exist in real life. A lot of people have built them. Makes you more excited to go and be in the restaurant because you're familiar with it in real life. So it's just more fun, I feel like. Then there's like this Lily Pond Nature Park, which is super fun. Try to find parks that have a lot to do. So for example, this has a roller rink and just more things to do with the park because I feel like a lot of times parks don't really have much to do, just kind of sit around and like play chess or something. <laughs> and then place more pools. So this is great if you have seasons, place down pools that have like things in the water and stuff like that. Like this one has floaties and try to place down pools that have activities for everyone. So like toddler pools in there, they have maybe like the seasons um, water balloon fight thingy my bob the little bucket um place down lots like that of course if you don't have those packs that's totally okay just work with what you got pretty much you know place down karaoke bars in other worlds other than a san my shuno that have more things to do than just karaoke honestly try to find lots that have they have the ping pong table from discovery university or just have things in there from whatever packs you have so you're doing more than just karaoke or just sitting at the bar you know there's a lot of things to do in there place down like the little darts thing all of that fun stuff then again, going with kind of placing down laws that exist in real life, because for me personally, it makes me more excited to have my Sims go and visit them because I'm more curious what they look like. I feel like it's more fun to have my Sims chill in there because I'm like, oh my gosh, like I've been here before. This looks familiar. So this is Hard Rock Cafe, which I've been to before. So that was fun. And then there's just a bowling alley and there's a nightclub and there's a new gym, which I feel like also placing new gyms is a lot more fun. So there's also a vet clinic over here in a cafe, you know, you know, um, there is also the onsen bath 
bathhouse. So try to place like lots that came with specific packs like in other worlds because I just feel like, you know, you don't always want to go to a certain world, but you want to go to an onsen bathhouse, just place it here. And okay, so something else that really helps when it comes to placing down different lots, by the way, we're, ta we're going to talk about more than just lots today. So <laughs> if you think that's all I'm talking about, I am going to be talking about more things that you can do to like change up all your worlds and make them all feel new. So um, here I actually replaced all the existing lots that are usually here and I don't know what it is, but doing that really helps me. So the lots that are always on this strip in uh, Willow Creek and in Oasis Springs, I feel like I'm so bored of them because we've had them since the base game and they're just always the same thing. And replacing those right here just made this area so much more exciting to me. Like I, I literally placed a subway and then we got a McDonald's, we've got KFC. So that's so exciting. There's like a little strip of like real life restaurants. And then we have this fun little pool here, which as you guys can see, it's like a very relaxing little area. And I've placed down a new gym, which I feel like is very important for Willow Creek. Willow Creek, it gets really boring because the same lots have been there for so long. And then we have this Willow Creek Park, which again, I try to place a park that has like a whole bunch of stuff. You can see here, there's like taller stuff, there's kids stuff, there's um a little basketball court, everything is here. So you can bring the whole family here and everyone's gonna have something to do. And then there's like cafes over here. So I haven't gotten around to replacing every single lot, as you guys can see. I mean, there is some classic lots that I just wanna keep, like the Pancakes household and the Goth family. Um, but you know, I wanna replace all the houses. I'm just slowly getting to that for me it was most important to replace like the community lots um and then over here i have this library because i also feel like we need new libraries in willow creek it's just more fun i kind of wish they updated the old worlds to have like new freshened up lots you know i just feel like it'd be a lot better <laughs> So then in Oasis Springs, I place things like this new bar and then I place this. Okay, so this is fun. I place this karaoke bar, but it's also like a gas station. And I don't know about you guys, but when there's things like this, like realistic things, even if, you know, it's not actually usable, something about it, it makes me want to go here. This lot, looks, this lot looks exciting to go to and just look at. And then I place a new bar and, or not a bar, a, a gym. <laughs> And then a spa. And then I place a bar over here. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then I place a another Taco Bell, which this Taco Bell is kind of fancy. And again, like I said, I haven't completed everything. I've like started placing a couple houses, which I want to replace all the houses. And you know, these houses can look kind of bland and stuff. So spice it up. So this is a way where you can make your own save file without being a pro builder. So for me personally, like, yes, I like to build Oh, yeah, a lot of you guys say that I'm a great builder, but I don't feel like my building skills are up to the point where I would feel confident building my own save file. Like I know I could do it, but I just feel like I would take years to complete it. And I feel like I would just give up on it <laughs> because more and more worlds will come out and just, yeah, I feel like it'd be never ending for me. And I just know. So I like to do it this way. I like to just make my own save file with other lots. Now I can't upload the save file since I don't have permission from all these builders. Um, so yeah, but you know, you can make your own save file and just keep it for yourself. It's your own little personal save file and you can just place down all these lots, personalize it for you. And it kind of just makes everything feel so new. And it's kind of even more nice than downloading a save file because you place down all the lots. Like, you know, you could literally demol it, what I would recommend doing. So I didn't do it this way because I just really was excited to play. But if you want to take the time, which I do want to do soon, um, take the time beforehand to just live literally bulldoze all these lots. I think there's also like a download that you can get where it will leave all the worlds empty, but of course you can't do that on console. And I wanted to keep this like completely mod free and like download free and everything like that. Um, in that case, you can just go and delete all this. It's going to take a little bit, but if you take that extra time, it'll be worth it. Demolish everything. So you kind of even forget like what was there because then you don't feel like, like, oh, like I should place a cafe here. You know what I mean? Like just get rid of it all and then place whatever you want, whatever you feel like fits. Cause then it's like, your own like personalized little world and everything's like how you want it but yeah I placed like a Starbucks over here um there is this one I feel like I didn't do as much yet like I said I'm still working on this I did replace um two things over here there's actually a gamer cafe which I don't know I felt like that was really fitting over there and then I placed a new nightclub here with just you know it fits with the world but it's just a lot better <laughs> and then I placed another vet clinic and then in Sulani so um this world's really really important to me when it comes to replacing a bunch of stuff just ignore this I need to fix that. But, um, 
this is really important to me because I always turn Sulani into a vacation world. Um, so I talked about this in a recent video, but basically like you'll see rental home, rental home, and then this is a restaurant and then this is a beach and then we have a bar. We have another rental home. Like there's no more houses in here. And that's really important to me for Sulani because I wanted island living to be like a vacation type of pack. That's what I thought it was going to be like. I thought we were going to get resorts and stuff like that and we just didn't. <laughs> so to kind of fix that problem as much as we can anyways with no mods or anything like that just fill this up with rental homes and place like more beaches like look how much more fun this looks like than the original Sulani at least in my opinion I feel like this feels like an actual vacation world now and you can come and like rent a place and then you can go to all these beaches you can have a fun time like this bar so much more fun than the original bar like look at that there's so much on this lot <laughs> and um yeah I just found all this just by just literally go on the gallery and just for example, you're looking for a bar just on the gallery. Go to lots and then it's going to take a little bit to load because I have all the packs and it's just annoying. <laughs> so you usually I go to popular now and sometimes most popular, but popular now kind of gives you newer builds that are really, really nice. So that's what I usually go for. There's obviously also nice builds in the new as well um, because some of the builds have just been built. So they could be really, really amazing, but no one's downloaded them yet. So you can look, of course, in the newest as well. I just personally feel like I find the most stuff in the popular popular now and then you can search for lot size if you want to if you need a specific lot size but usually I'll just go to lot type and then you can go let's just do beach um and basically when you're looking through like you're gonna see some that obviously are fit for Sulani pretty much all the beaches are for Sulani <laughs> because just you know there's so many but it's like here for example obviously you're gonna see a lot of lots that are fitting for different worlds so you know this is where you would kind of say you want the Starbucks just go ahead and save it to your library um if you want it in like a different world because you're gonna find a lot of different things like this is obviously would be fitting for uh Oasis Springs you know and look at all these McDonald's you guys see all the fun mcdonald's like <laughs> it's just so fun so yeah basically just save lots that you feel like fit into different worlds and stuff or you don't have to save them you can just grab them and place them wherever you feel like they fit right away um so yeah that's what i've done and just kind of made my own little save file that just feels really fun and i did also update some things in mount komorebi as well um i just placed like a new park over here and just some new restaurants and stuff like that and then the next thing you can do which I'm currently working on so like there's not much done with it yet but I'm just gonna like give you an example so and also don't mind the sims that are all bald like I said the, the save files from my laptop so on my laptop they look good but like on here there's gonna yeah the sims are gonna be crazy so like for example these two houses are empty so like I want to place some sims in there so let's go ahead and just grab a sim we'll just grab these sims here we'll just plop them in so obviously i'd probably replace this house first as well but let's just say we've done that so put a new house there so it just feels fresh and then the next step to just make it feel like you know really fun like your own little save file so obviously this family already kind of has like a little story but make it your own erase this whole thing and just write up like your own little backstory. Maybe like, you know, he, maybe he has like a, a really heavy job where he's always gone all the time. And she's kind of like, it feels like she's a single mom when she's not. And she's trying to raise this little, little cute little bean. And he's always gone all the time. And you could kind of like make that work by like sending him on vacation all the time. Whatever you want to do, just make a storyline in here. And then when you load up into the family, make that storyline happen. So this is where it's kind of like a Sims 2. So this is like, this is going to take you some time, but I feel like it's worth it. So set up all the households, like how you, the Sims 2 was done. So if you guys are familiar with the Sims 2, basically you would load into like a family and they would already have like a little story going and they'd have like memories and stuff like that. There's obviously no memory system in the Sims 4, but what you can do is like set them up with the careers that they want, or, you know, if they don't have a career, don't do that. Set them up with the skills that you want them to have. And you can go ahead and quickly get them some friends, you know, maybe they're friends with their neighbors, like put Sims around that you feel like they'd be friends with, you know, the people living here, maybe they're like besties with. And then um, when it comes to the sentiments, this is going to be really important to kind of make everything feel good. So get some sentiments going. I don't know if there's any cheats for this. Obviously, you know, there might be. I've never messed around with that. If there's any sentiments 
like if there's any cheats you can give your sims um you know different lifestyles though so you can definitely do that give them some lifestyles that you feel they would have um if you guys know if you can do sentiments let me know because i've just kind of started placing sims down and doing this little thing i'm telling you guys about you can remove all sentiments but is there somewhere where you can pick sentiments i have no idea but if one of you guys know then definitely let me know but if you can do that with cheats you'll be able to do that on console as well um but here you can add a lifestyle so you can just go ahead and add some lifestyles in just set them up and if you can't put sentiments in with the cheat then of course you can just gain them sentiments i feel like it doesn't take that long especially like if you want some drama in the town where like a sim has cheated on another all you gotta do is like cheat their relationships up with cheats that are in the game and then you can go ahead and just have them cheat and then the sentiments will pop up or if you want to be really attached to your sims town and you really want to set up a save file you know with all the detail you don't have to do any cheats you can take the time with each household you know maybe play each household for like a couple sim days take you know every day play like a couple households um play them for a couple sim days and just get everything going for them make them friends you know um you know maybe you can have so for example she's pregnant if she wasn't pregnant you could go ahead and have them get pregnant and then you'd have a townie that is pregnant expecting a baby you know um and then um if you want to make like uh, a couple like cheat on each other you'll get those sentiments for that so then when you're playing your own household it's just more fun like the sims around you have drama going on and stuff like that so that's really really important to kind of pull all this together I feel like so that's what I'm currently working on and I'm really excited to have all of that done because I feel like it's just gonna make it feel like the sims 2 neighborhoods which is gonna be so much fun you could either make your own sims or you can grab some from the gallery I personally like to place my own sims that I've already made and then after that I will go ahead and just place sims from the gallery um because I mean they're cc free you don't gotta worry about anything missing as long as you don't click the little cc tab you'll see like a whole bunch of sims so but yeah usually what I do is just filter it by household and then you can go ahead and either do popular now or do most popular um either one's great I feel like I feel like popular now adds a little bit more diversity and just sims with new stuff on like these sims for example they're super freaking cute <laughs> they're really really cute these are not so very sims but um yeah they're so cute and they're wearing like some of the new clothing from different packs um if you do have the packs of course and then of course if you don't have the packs you go ahead and just take these filters off and then you can grab sims that like you only have stuff from the packs you have so that's really nice and yeah you can just grab a whole bunch of sims and another thing is some of them have backstories so you can kind of go off of those backstories or you can just make your total new ones but if you need some like inspiration a lot of sims on the gallery do have backstories which is nice not all of them but some of them some of them on the gallery do have backstories and that's obviously super helpful that is pretty much everything that I do to just make my game feel fresh and alive again and it really really has helped me it really gets me excited to play more and I want to make like multiple save files for my own personal self where I place down different lots because you know it's kind of fun to make whatever you want of each world you can completely change the style of each world so yeah I think that's pretty much all the tips that I have to just give you that excitement again when you open up your game everything kind of feels fresh again at least this has really really worked for me so I definitely recommend trying it out and replace like every single lot you guys obviously I haven't gotten around to every single lot in mine but I've replaced a lot of them it helps so much and I'm just gonna continue doing that and then basically if you want say you make one save file and that's the only one you want you took forever on it pretty much so for example here's the save file I started and then I just placed her in there this is one of my sims but then here is my actual family that I play with so she has a baby and then I have this sim here who is also the in the same save file as this one. Just basically what you're going to do is load up this save file every time and then go and make the sim you want or go grab the sim you want from your library. And then when you're ready to save, just make sure you save as and then save a new save file. And then you can keep this save file forever. So whenever you have a new family that you want to start, you just load into here and then go and grab your sims <laughs> so yeah it kind of it works the same as like when you download someone else's save file except you know you've customized everything and everything like that and i feel like it just adds this it's just it's just like special 
to you and I feel like it can give you even more excitement than downloading your own save file. At least for me it has. So that's kind of what I've done and it's helped me out a lot. So hopefully it kind of brings back your excitement for the game if you guys are feeling kind of meh. It makes you want to go out more with your sims and everything like that. So I am going to go ahead and wrap up this video here and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can't get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much